Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a 3D TV effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have an image of a person jumping in a field of flowers. And What we're going to do with this image is basically take and make it look like it's popping out um, as a, like a 3D effect from a TV or a computer screen or like a frame of any kind. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first go over to the rectangle tool and make sure that your color is on white and I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. So once I have that I'm going to go down to the little FX thing and I'm going to go down to stroke. That's off screen for you but we're going down to stroke. And then what we're going to do is make sure that the strokes on black and I'm just going to take and put it up at like 30 so that we have a nice thick stroke and then I'm going to put the position to inside so that we have nice pointy corners. So you guys might not have to do that step, um, but I'm basically just making a screen rather than taking and putting it on a TV or something of that sort. So the next step is to basically take this shape and we're going to move it down below our image. So you can see we still have the little outline, um, but it's, we can't really see it. So we're just going to take it so that we can see where our image is placed and we're going to lower the opacity on our flower image. So we're just going to lower that down so that we can see where our border is below it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and raise this up so that we have we have some of this person coming out of the screen basically. So once I have that we'll just move them down a little bit more. All right. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to move both of these down so that we can get their arm onto um, the area and then I'm just going to take my shape and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that we uh, don't have to stretch our image. So now that I have that done what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're on our image layer and we're just going to start making a path. So we're going to go down and grab the pen tool over here towards the bottom of our tool panel and I'm just going to zoom in so that we can make sure that we get this pretty close to the corners. So once we're on the corners we're just going to take and go down to the corners of each part of our frame and we're going to make a point. It's going to get a little bit more complicated once we get up to where the person is but for these first few corners it's going to be pretty easy. All right. So now we're going to go over and we're just going to start right at their arm here and in order to see this I'm going to turn up the opacity a little bit so we can make sure you can see this pretty well and then we're just going to basically come around the arm here. All right. So I'm not going to spend a super amount of time on this path, but we'll make it look acceptable. Okay, so we're just going to come down in here. All right. Come around the hand. All right. Coming around the thumb here. You would spend a little bit more time making this path appropriate depending on how big your image is. All right, so I'm finally getting down to where the arm is going to be inside of the frame. So we're going to put a point right there where it's coming down inside of the frame. We're going to go over and then we have just a little bit of this next hand. So I'm just going to make a real quick selection around that. Okay. All right, so now you want to make another point right I mean, let me show you what I mean. You want it to be right along the side of this frame here, so it's going to be right there, so that when you take and you go all the way across here, and you match it up with this point that's on the corner, then you have a nice straight line rather than a slanted one. So I'm just going to take and zoom out. And now, um, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that we have a path all the way around there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and right click in the middle of our path and go to make selection. All right, so now that we have this selection, I'm just going to feather it by um, three pixels is probably okay. And once we have that, we're going to go to select and then inverse. All right, so now basically, I'm just going to zoom out so you can see we've selected everything um, that's not the inside of our screen. So we've selected everything that's not this flowers and the person. So what we're going to do is just grab the marquee tool, right click, layer via cut, and then we can take and turn off part. So you can just delete that because we no longer need it. So everything except for the person's arms are inside of the frame. So we can take and bump up 
the opacity of that layer and now you can see that it looks like the person is actually reaching right outside of the screen that we created. So this is a nice effect. Uh, you can do some really cool things with this um, basic 3D effect. Uh, you can see it in actual application. Um, I've seen it in like Best Buy ads for the new 3D movies. Uh, they like to take the characters and make them look like they're coming out of the TVs that they're advertising. Um, so it definitely has some practical applications as well as just um, looking pretty cool. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.